Hello everyone, welcome back to part 2 and the what I hope to be the conclusion of a replay right now. Yuna's going back, Ted trying to push back this attack, but the Paladin is just doing such a great job of kill picking off units left and right. Paladin um, using that unholy um, light pretty effectively every single time the cooldown's up, it, he's going to go ahead and fire off another one. And we, let's see, we do have a tech to town, no, we're still at town hall right now, so, oh no, but never mind, we're almost at castle already. And we do have an archmage now coming out, so an archmage as a secondary hero coming in from... Um, coming in from Samdan, we do have a, a Death Knight coming in as the secondary hero as well. So Samdan coming in with a, um, or sorry, Ted coming in with a, a Death Knight. No sleep available on the, or he did have enough uh, mana, but he did not sleep that Paladin and and let him escape right there. He is gonna put and um, pick up a push, lesser potion of invulnerability. Oh, and the healing that was completely wasted. We do have a potion of in a potion of invisibility quickly being used, trying to take down that Dreadlord. And the Death Knight was trying to, I think, get a, a Death Coil off on that Paladin. The Paladin is almost level 5. If he gets to level 5 on that Paladin, the Paladin is going to be pretty, could be even more annoying, pretty much. More more units coming in. We do, um, Samdan's currently sitting at 41 over 60 food. And an Arch uh, Troll Berserker is going to go down. No, very nice, perfect timing um, on that healing coming in from the Troll Berserker. Good pathing coming in from Ted. And Ted is going to try to take down that Troll Berserker, but unable to once more. Fiend's now coming in, Mortar's coming in as well, and the Archmage should probably train Water Elementals and try continue this push. We do have a Mountain King now coming out um, from Samdan. So Samdan going try hero um, out of order with the Paladin first, the Archmage second, and the Mountain King third. Meanwhile, we have a tech to Black Citadel. We do have dual um, Crips producing fiends right now. I do not see a Slaughterhouse yet, so no, take that back. Slaughterhouse being built over here at the expansion. And we have the Paladin now trying to get to level 5. Probably will not get it off of this, this level 2 and level 3, um, um, what's it called? Exper uh, ex uh, creeps. Paladin now just a sliver away, probably one ghoul would give it level 2, or level 5 right now. Mountain King now in play, and now coming in with Knights. Knights do not have the Animal War Training upgrade. Um, he's currently sitting at 50 over 72, so... Um, most likely will be getting that Animal War Training relatively quickly, or relatively shortly, as he wants to not go into high upkeep, or low upkeep. Um, he does have the food capacity, but he's going to try to just get some additional um, gold as much as he can. Is he upgrading anywhere? Um, I do not see any black oh, blacksmith. Yes, he is upgrading his guns, and the Paladin is now sitting at level 5. So level 5 Paladin is going to be even more difficult, and um, uses a Staff of Sanctuary to s heal. And let's see, Staff of Sanctuary to heal a uh, low hit point Ogre Mauler. Uh, Skeleton's going to come in, trying to take down some damage. Oh, a Mortar and disrupts the healing on his own Knight. Bad play coming in, or un unlucky play coming in. Archmage now trying to do some additional creeping with the Mountain King. The Paladin is going to do on a one-man mission to just, just, try, just try to harass that base. And the Paladin is currently going to run in with that Boots of Speed. Does have a Staff of Teleportation and an additional Potion of Mana. So it's going to be able to take down a lot of units. Paladin now coming in, quickly uses Holy Lights, takes down a single Acolyte, trying to take down a Ziggurat right now, T takes down another Acolyte, Archmage now getting to level 2, Paladin just trying to take down the Ziggurat, and with that 30 seconds of invulnerability, there's not much you can really do. A third Acolyte goes down, that Paladin is just so annoying right now. We do have a Pandirian Brewmaster coming in, so we do have Tri-Hero coming in as well. And all well, that Paladin was able to cancel one of those units, and the Paladin is still just sitting there. Um, the Paladin has a good amount of mana still, and he's just going to use a Staff of Teleportation to try to head out of there. We do not have um, a, any sleep coming in from Mount, Mountain King now coming in, going to get to level 2 as well. Uh, Archmage trying to... Uh, Arch, oh, Paladin now pushing back over here, and we have the Mountain King getting to level 2. So... Paladin now quickly healing back up, does have Brilliance Aura, and the Paladin once more comes back into another base to do some additional harassing. Gets off a Holy Light, takes down an, an, another Acolyte, and Ted is just producing Acolytes left and right right now. Another Acolyte goes down, so uh, Ted is not mining from from the bases, from his expansions that, um, that effectively. Another Acolyte goes down, so Paladin just doing a lot of damage right now, trying to take down those Acolytes, takes down another fresh Acolyte that just head, head out of the um, the Black Citadel, and Mountain King still sitting at level 2, he hasn't trained anything, um, Paladin trying to run to the back of the base, getting away from that tower, oh, takes down another Acolyte, so 
five or seven acolytes have gone down so far and the paladin is still doing a good job continuing the pressure ghouls are trying to surround the paladin in the back but really unable to do anything here acolytes going to come back out so let's see if the paladin uses a potion of the potion of vulnerability a potion of mana gets off another holy light and just continuing to press ted and just continue to do a lot of damage. Meanwhile, Mountain King now trying to come into the back of the base here, trying to get perhaps level three or close to level three on both of those heroes. Paladin trying to take down a Nerubian Tower will not be able to do it as it has fortified armor and heroes damage is reduced against it. And we're gonna have the Paladin now try to teleport out of here in just a moment, I believe. And here we have the Mountain King now getting the level three. So two, two um, training training points on the mountain king we do have a we have a staff of sanctuary he should probably sanctuary and um, should sanctuary that night that's a good play coming in from a lot of um, this is a good idea to try to staff units as as a secondary healing method in between fights right now and the paladin just using a clarity potion still no animal war training upgrades a little bit of a surprise here coming in as he's already sitting on 3500 gold and i spoke too soon animal war training so animal war training currently being used we do have double griffin aviaries he is finally broken into low upkeep so i expect that number to jump up to um well jump up to the 70 range momentarily so already getting already at 64 producing double mortars double griffins already producing dragon hawks and we may see some other units as well. We do have a boneyard in play, so Ted is now able to continue to get hit, continue to mine from those gold mines. Now, um, currently, the, the north side is only mining with three acolytes, so he's not mining at full capacity. But I think he's just afraid of an, of um, of the paladin coming in and just wreaking havoc right now. Dreadlo Dreadlord is currently sitting at level 4, Pandas and the Death Knight currently sitting at level 2 each. Griffins are coming in, um, we do have a, a single Dragonhawk Rider and Cloud being researched, and we're already at 80 over 90 food. Griffin's going to come in, try to focus down some units, and we're gonna he's going to focus down that those units relatively quickly. Dreadlord trying to run away, and we, we should probably see a, if he... I can't tell if um, Samdan is trying to um, hero focus or not. We do have a bolt on the Paladin, or the Pandaria Brewmaster, and the Pandaria Brewmaster goes down. Uh, another bolt on some additional units, and another Fiend goes down. So Ted's going to be forced to run back away right now. And Mountain King should probably try to bolt some additional heroes, and with that level 3 Holy Light, which should make short work of any hero, including the Death Knight. Um, Polisha now coming in to join in the fight, and Samdan wants to end this game. A bone, a frostworm is going to come out in just a second, as the mortars are going to try to push on this main base. We do have Cloud being casted down, so those towers are not going to be really doing any any damage right now. Ooh, a quick, nice, quick hit on the on the death or on the knight, and the knight is going to losing some hit points relatively quickly. A militia now uh, back in the peasant form already, as units are fighting back back and forth. Mortars are just taking out the tech right now. And the Archmage is currently sitting at level 2, or with low on hit points, able to get healed up real quickly. Peasants going down, we have a, a Shackle on the uh, on the Frostworm, and uh, this is going to be GG. Ted is not going to be able to win this. Down goes the Dreadlord, Paladin gets to level 6, Archmage gets to level 3, and Ted goes ahead and leaves. I hope you enjoyed that game, that was a really interesting use of Paladin first, as opposed to... <laughs> Um, as opposed to Mountain King or Archmage, especially on that map. I hope you enjoyed Tho's innovation with that Paladin harass. Um, yeah, that was just a great game. Paladins must have a boot to speed if you want to be able to harass there. Uh, thank you guys for listening, and I, I hope to see you guys on Battle.net.